I just drove four hours from Las Vegas to Cine Expo. I'm right outside of uh, Paramount Studios here. This is like a little treat just to go check this out today. There's the Hollywood Cemetery right there and Lemon Grove Gate, which is it's not open and I have to use the bathroom. I've got to walk all the way around the studio. <laughs> interesting thing about Paramount Lots is that it feels a lot like a military base. Everything is this uniform kind of bland yellow-ish brown, but yet they make movies here, which is the opposite of what I know of military life. <laughs> Standard movie golf carts for driving around the set. People love their coffee. Typical honey pot bathrooms. Bathroom at Paramount Studios. Can I just say I appreciate the strip of tape somebody put over the door. This is the tour group for the day that's touring the, the lot. Cinegear! So I just walked into stage 27. The first thing I honestly was impressed by was just the ceiling. If you look at it, you can see that like the wooden beams on it are like ancient. Like clearly this thing has been around for a really long time and there's like a lot of room for like rigging on it and stuff. Despite there being so many people in here, there's like no echo whatsoever because all of the walls have a special padding on them for soundproofing, just for movie making. So if you look in here, you can see that the LED is actually moving yeah, around. Yeah, Messing with the shadows very subtly. Oh yeah. Affecting, like the green is only affecting this part. It's not affecting right. over here. 65 millimeter camera over there in uh, monochrome. There's only two of those in the world apparently right now. It's just a black and white camera with some special modifications and it shoots in the IMAX format, the 65 millimeter format. She's a chonkers. Look at this guy's shirt. Bullet proof. I'd like to see that get tested. Spider-Man, human praying mantis thing. Crossing tiger, hidden dragon. How heavy, how is that? Is it feels pretty good? Pretty, pretty good? I think one is... $6 is actually really cheap for sushi. We're gonna eat at Astro Burgers. It's been here since 1974 and it's right next to the lot. You'd, you'd think that they would have good food. Probably all the movie stars go eat here. How wanted. That's not a good sign. I guess I'll just get the Astro Burger fries and a water. Tastes like it's from 1974. So basically what Cine Expo is, is it's a it's a bunch of filmmakers that get together and uh, they, they show off all the new cool toys that they all have. Um, and they're all very expensive toys though, like things that you wouldn't see normal people use because they're too expensive. I, I just need a camera and a microphone, really. I see they have more models here, forced to sit there all day. So this is the Chapman Leonard booth. Look at the seat. Look at how comfortable that looks. Look at that. That's the hydraulic system. And it's completely silent. Just push them down. Oh, it's amazing. We're going sideways. And you got it moving just sideways, so you're able to... Well, I can go actually diagonally. Yeah. That's what it's called crab mode. Crab mode, so that's right. See, like right now we're going in that direction like that. Oh, that's so we nice. Come this way. Woo! That was smooth. But also, uh, I can go into rail. Mm -hmm. this. This is a... So I'm going to go 360 with you. So okay. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, wow. Look at that. See this? It's like, that's like a perfect, perfect. Yeah. 360 there. Exactly. How long have you been doing this? Well, <laughs> I've been with this company for 37 years. 37 yeah, years? So, yes, I. Wow. Grew older. Oh my, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that's which is that's amazing. Yeah, it really. So awesome. you know exact you you yeah, well, you've been around this a uh, long we, time. Yeah, I just I think these are the coolest things on set. I think so. Right? <laughs> they they exactly. are the coolest thing on set. Absolutely. They're impressive and they look good and they're comfortable so to sit on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, Everyone loves sitting on them. So this is a truck you can rent for your movies. Lots of goodies inside of it. Oh, so this is the camera room where all your camera things hang out in their little cases. This is the back side of the truck. Oh, it looks right, like you right, got all your okay, grip stuff in here and it's got a, two floors. All your cables for power, I guess packing rugs, fire stuff. Oh, and your milk crates, full of little goodies. Skateboard wheels, clips, everything you could possibly need to put, attach anything to anything else. These are all your flags for diffusing the lights to put on a scrim or something like that. Very expensive materials. Oh, there's the bathroom. A little baby bathroom. Not to be used, I'm certain. Somebody might have used it though. Watch a little, little thing. Sink. Check. Oh, and it's got its own power generation system from the truck itself. Not for hire. Look at those wheels. Take your power to go. So I'm here with uh, Brian, who is the writer of Filmmaker for Dummies and many more things. Oh yeah, I didn't do that, and whoops. Action, okay. Yeah, yes. So you must have to update it a lot with technology changing all the time. The, la the second edition was about, there was about 60% updates, yeah. I mean, I started when I was a kid. Like yeah. most filmmakers enjoy it, learn from an early age that they really enjoy it. Yeah, and I wrote it mainly because I wanted to help people and I love being like a mentor. You were showing me. Santa stole our dog is Ed Asner who played Santa Claus in uh, the movie Elf with Will Ferrell. And then this one, Miss Castaway, it's kind of like scary movie comedy type thing. And Michael Jackson and I were friends and he did a cameo in the film. I bought all your albums. God bless you. And then First Dog, it's my dog in all the movies. <laughs> um, and Dolly Parton did all the original songs Oh yeah, it is the it. same dog. Yeah, yeah. And oh. a little bit. You can go to My Case Builder and they will build you a custom case. How do you guys cut the uh, foam in these? Is it like a heated blade or something like that? It's a water jet. A wa oh, you use a water yeah, jet. Yeah, it cuts all through with just water. Wow. And then it's just drag and drop. That is the tiniest fog machine I've ever seen. And it's, very, very good. it's doing a lot. It must be like 25 pounds or more. Hi. <laughs> Just a custom thing for twirling around an apple box. So that is Cine Gear. Uh, thanks for coming along with me. And since you somehow made it to the end of the video, I guess I got to tell you a little bonus story. So when I used to work in the film industry, I was the, uh, the camera production assistant. So not an assistant camera, but a camera production assistant. I was kind of like the bottom of the totem pole. So I had to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for like the like 10 member camera there. department I, yeah. so for far, this I indie film it. I was working on. And so I go and make the sandwiches, you know, like I slaved over each one. I got like the peanut butter just right, the jam spread evenly on each sandwich and they look beautiful. And I'd even cut them in like corners for them. And so I delivered them to set, which was like pretty far away. And so I delivered these sandwiches like stacked in a beautiful pile for the camera department. And the Steadicam operator looks at me and he was like, you don't have wheat? I wanted a wheat peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you don't have skim milk? Because I brought milk too. And I was like, no. And he was just, look, gave, gave me like this ugly look. He was just like, ugh, you're pathetic. And uh, I just remember hating him ever since then. Like, just what a privileged snob. Anyways, that was one of my experiences from the film industry. So thanks for watching the video. Bye. So I'm here at the swag desk when you enter Cinegear. And I've discovered this mystery DVD. It's called The Spherical Music Quest. Mastered by Grammy Award winning James Gardner. Presents Transmigration. We'll put it on when we get home.
wow, this is definitely somebody trying to promote their content at the studio. If you didn't like that, I have something to make up for it. I met Matt Parson at Cinegear this year, and he was shooting on a Hi8 camera, and I just, I really thought that was awesome and unusual. If you want to check out his channel, Matt Parson, he's got some great Hi8 footage. Tell him that Danny Pop sent you. See ya. Bye.